The Indian High Commissioner to Maldives has been asked to reach the Maldives Foreign Ministry. And viewers, let us explain to you the timeline. This has happened soon after India summoned the Maldives envoy to the External Affairs Ministry in India. And this happened after three ministers in Maldives made derogatory remarks against Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Earlier, the Maldives government suspended three deputy ministers over the remarks. Maldives High Commissioner Ibrahim Shahib has, uh, was summoned to the Indian Ministry of External Affairs. The move comes after New Delhi officially shared its concerns with Mali over the matter. Now, these three are the ministers who made the derogatory marks. Mariam Shiuna, Malsha and Mahzoom Majid. They have been sacked by the Maldivian government. The correct term to use would be suspended. The remarks followed Indian Prime Minister Modi's visit to Lakshadweep. Maldives government spokesperson Ibrahim Khalil has confirmed the suspension. Now, the incident has sparked a diplomatic row between the neighboring countries. Apart from a massive social media outrage with many Indian celebrities and political figures condemning the distasteful remarks, this despite one of the ministers deleting her tweets. The Maldivian political class has also condemned the actions in a post on the social media platform X. Maldives National Party has referred to the derogatory comments made by the ministers as unacceptable. And then on the other hand, Maldives Democratic Party released a statement demanding appropriate action against those senior officials. The Maldivian political class has also condemned the actions. Faris, the president of the Maldives reform movement, has called on the government to take action against public officials who disrespect heads of state and high officials of friendly countries. The Maldives National Party also posted on social media platform X against the quote-unquote racist and derogatory remarks. The island, the island nation has also issued an official statement regarding the issue. It says that, Shia, that Shiuna's opinions are personal and they do not represent the views of the government of Maldives. It also mentions that relevant government authorities will not hesitate to take action against derogatory remarks in the future. On the other hand, Several travel service providers in India have also been, have also cancelled bookings and flights to Maldives. Now, the former vice president of Maldives, Ahmad Adib, also reacted to the incident. Listen to this. I think this is a very uncalled for, and, and I think this is a very sad incident, um, which should not not happened actually because uh, when you are in a elected uh, position uh, you should not engage as an activist so you have to be more responsible and also uh, these de <coughs> degrading remarks towards um, the global leader prime minister modi and as well as uh, racist comments against uh, indian citizens is not acceptable so we built our tourism on the basis of uh, tolerance and harmony and friendship and hospitality so this is this is not acceptable at at any level